welcome back to The Zack and Buzz Review. And this time we are going to do our January physical media watch list. Yeah, we have been watching some physical media. We have. We love our physical media. You can yes. tell by now. No buffering. No buffering. No the glitching. spinny wheel of doom, doom. No. that is streaming. And that other annoying thing where you get... Or it's that, like, a little high-pitched electric on the oh, sound. I hate it when it cuts out, then Buffers. the sound goes. Oh, the sound goes and it comes back and on. And then it skips to where it thinks it, it should, should be, be. And it's like, seriously? Seriously. Seriously? Is this what we pay for when it comes to streaming? I know. So that's why we love physical, physical media. Physical media for the win. So, for our January watch list, what did we watch? Right, I've got the pile. Should we go for it? This is what we started the year off with. Becky. Becky. Yeah. You got this for I me. I picked this one. I, I spotted it before Christmas. Mm. Picked it up for you. I was really impressed by this. Yeah, this is kind of like a teenager, troublesome teenager, yeah. whose family get embroiled in the, the this escaped convicts. Uh, sort yeah, of very, scenario. Very right-wing neo-Nazi convicts. So uh, house gets invaded. Basically, a mix between Home Alone and John Wick, in my opinion. John Wick and Ish. kind of Rambo. Kind of, kind yeah. Of, yeah. You know? So... This very unexpected kind of teenage girl mm, mm. suddenly goes on the rampage. Especially from the title, I did not expect what yeah. this was when I watched it, I, I and I was massively impressed. So, and I believe there is a Becky too. Uh, Wrath of Becky. Wrath of Becky, which we can't get yet. Not yet. But we will see Wrath of Becky. We but shall hunt if, it if out. You, if you've not heard of Becky, definitely one to watch. Mm, definitely. Next on the list, this one was fun. Willy's, Willy's Wonderland. Wonderland. Who yeah. doesn't want to see Nicolas Cage fight a robot emu? Exactly. <laughs> Nicolas Cage. Or is that an ostrich? It could be an ostrich. Uh, I think it's an ostrich. But yeah, and, and I can't remember. Was it Gopher? The other one? I don't uh, know. But anyway. A weasel. Willy a weas the weasel. Willy the weasel. And <laughs> Nicolas Cage, who keeps taking to uh, like rest breaks. It's odd. Which it's, is really funny. He doesn't say a single word in the entire film. He's, I think he said the odd word. He, did he? Or did, did he? he just grunt? <laughs> grunt, but he just basically goes to and takes it all in his stride that mm. there are these manic killing machines the thing possessed. Is that this seems to be Five Nights at Freddy's before Five Nights at Freddy's was a thing. Yeah. Or when it became cool. Yeah. And again, I saw this, got it for you, thought, mm. and it was good fun. It's good I fun. Mean, it was good fun. I like a horror movie. And who doesn't like Nicolas Cage? In anything. You know? He'll do anything. Yeah, he's great. He will. He's great. So, yeah. He's good humoured. Good humoured. Oh, this is a big box, but only one movie out of this one. Spaghetti Western. So this is a Spaghetti Western collection. So this is the Man With No Name trilogy. Yeah. Of the three, which one did we watch? You tell me. We watched... A few dollars more, which is the second one. And personally, I think this is a very underrated film, especially in this trilogy. Uh, I love spaghetti westerns, and Clint mm. Eastwood is the man we know. Everyone names. seems to always talk about the first one or the third one. Yep. And I understand why, but I really do love the camaraderie between Lee Van Cleef and yeah, Clint yeah. Eastwood uh, in the second film. And it's the one where uh, he's shooting his hat down the street, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and it just pulling out the big the big barrel gun. And mm. it's, it's a classic. So, the yeah. setup's been doing me good for the last 57 years. <laughs> and that brings us on to a bit more of action movie. The Meg 2. Meg 2. Now, we did get this in January and we watched it in January. We, and We saw this at the cinema. Yeah. You yeah, know, but had to get it because mm. it's worth it. It is just a mashup of just let's ramp up the action, let's ramp up a the big budget shark movie, <laughs> and they take that in its stride. We gotta love a shark movie. One thing I did really appreciate about this movie in particular was all the references to other giant monster movies. Yeah, that was like quite even good. the most obscure ones, like Mega Shark versus Giant Octopus. You had a, a, giant God octopus. a Godzilla reference in there yeah. when it's kind of going along that like runway where people fish off of yeah 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 and loads of other things so it's okay. really really Meg good Meg 2 uh, might not be for everybody's cup of tea yeah it, it, I get that I it, get it that. got some slam dunking I liked it I can appreciate fun. what was fun about it next old one Terminator Salvation Terminator Salvation now I get a lot of people say that they don't like this movie um, it's far fetched when it comes for me it's far fetched when it comes to the heart transplant you know, that's yeah. really, that takes it way, way out of the ballpark. But if you like Terminator... Spoiler for the movie, by the way. <laughs> if you like... Well, I'm sure everybody's seen If, you like, if you're a Terminator fan, if you're a Terminator fan picky. And you want to see more of the um, future Stuff. machines. Yeah. You know, where you've got the Harvester that, robot. That is know. the thing. This is the only Terminator film that doesn't feature time travel. And for some people that might be a bit jarring, but... 
Yeah, but it also has that great bit in it where it's fine. Where you see Arnie back in it again for that little Ooh, moment, for where, a brief, brief, a brief time. moment where <laughs> and the Terminator steps out in its skin. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger. I liked it, but I didn't love it. But no. it's happily one I will catch on TV anytime and just yeah, it, it, it's watch a popcorn it. movie. Yeah, it's one that movie. if it's on, we'll watch it. And yeah. it's you know once in a while. Who cares? Right, next. <laughs> Go. Next. This one's an interesting one. Dr. Mordred. Now, okay, so this I got for you. Yeah. And, and you told me, and I agree, it is basically Dr. Strange. It is Dr. Strange, and for some kind of rights thing they couldn't do Doctor yeah. Strange so, so if you go back and you think mm. of superhero movies mm. way back where they yeah. did the early I think this came out in the 90s yeah they, well they did uh, I mean I think I don't know was it the 70s when they first started doing Spider-Man ones maybe and then they did some maybe. really early ones and of course 70s you had the Incredible Hulk with Luke yeah. Reno yeah. Um, so this is this is pre this is another one from 88 films by the yeah. way and I do love yeah, so, so this is kind of pre-Marvel as we yeah. know it now. Unfortunately, this is actually yeah. out of print now, so you can't regularly get this, yeah. so you but do have to hunt good, it down. it was a good movie. So I would recommend it, especially for the practical effects. Yeah, uh, and the lead actor, you'll recognise him from um, mm. uh, Reanimator. Yeah, Reanimator. Um, He's in Star Trek as Deep, well. Deep Space Nine, yeah. Like look at the, if you look at the back, oh, we've got the back. Just, to, just to show there's a, a T-Rex there, T -Rex, T-Rex yeah. skeleton, and if that's any clue... To watch that movie, I would definitely. Watch now it. here we go off to Asia for one again that I picked up for you. Project, Project Wolf, Wolf Hunting. Hunting. Now I really didn't know what to expect from this. I went in under the premonition this could have been a werewolf movie. <laughs> That's what I thought when, mm. I, when I got it. And I don't mm. want to do spoilers particularly on this one, but I thought it was about. Uh, it's it's an action movie by yeah. not, well, big action movie. Uh, and there is this kind of again convicts kind of storyline, bit 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 like the South Korean. You have like the raid and everything. Yeah. Yeah. So you got your goodies. You got <laughs> Funny your. Funny you should mention that. Funny but they're mixed that. in. There's this underlying story. Yeah. Which they don't know that they're getting themselves embroiled in. So, the most concise review I can give of this is Franken Raid. Yeah, Franken Raid. <laughs> so that's Frankenstein, but if it were the raid, the raid. <laughs> on a ship. On a chip. There you go. But it was a good one. It was I, one. I really enjoyed that. Very brutal, very gory. So if you're a fan of Asian horror movies, definitely one for you. Uh, right, next. Yeah. Bit fun, bit of action. It's Batman. The Flash. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Or, or as I call it, it's Batman. It's Batman the movie. Yeah, it's the best bit of Batman, Batman action, action we've had I in a while. in years. I, I mean, it's brilliant. And to, to have him back, mm. you know, is absolutely awful. I awesome. think... The, having this on 4K, I can appreciate because it's obviously a big blockbuster, the Flash, Justice League and everything. I thought the story overall was fine, but yeah. I will stand by my statements that I much prefer Justice League, the Flashpoint Paradox, which is in DC is, animated film. I, I haven't seen the animated one, mm. but when you've seen things like X-Men yeah. and you see Quicksilver doing his thing, yeah. they're kind of taken a lot of Quicksilver stuff into this movie. Um, but saying that, it's yeah. seeing Michael Keaton as, as Batman. Batman. So how how, <laughs> how 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 bad can you really take I it? I mean, let's be honest. You, you, I think you summed it up when you mm. said, when you're going against, um, you know, the Kryptons. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was you it. Know, you, okay. you know, you'd have Batman. So you have Batfleck, Ben <laughs> Affleck, obviously. Uh, He's got basically doing like a big training montage God. to fight Superman, get a big mecha suit, yeah, no, get some kryptonite, kryptonite and everything you know, and, and bits and bobs. Uh, Michael, but then you've got Michael Keaton, who's is Batman. as Batman. You know what? I don't need anything except a grapple gun and some grenades, grenades and my bat wing. Let's and, go. And let's just go <laughs> kick ass. You know, this is brilliant. <laughs> Best Batman action going. Yeah. If you don't watch yeah. the movie for anything else, Batman. Yeah. For, to be honest, light-hearted. Um, Next, Batman not quite a movie, but compared to the modern day Doctor Who, it's a movie. Ooh. Right. Physical media. So this the is Pirate Planet. Doctor Who, the Pirate Planet, which is part of the Key to Time season, yeah. which is season 18, 18 of Doctor Who, I think. Okay. I might be correct on that. Okay. 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 But classic Who. This Tom was Bagel. done by Douglas Adams. I really love yeah, this it's story. It's a brilliant story. Absolutely brilliant story. Mm. Um, mm. So uh, I can't really tell you much more about it because <laughs> I don't want to spoil it. You've you got to watch it if you're a Doctor Who fan, a classic Doctor Who fan. And this is probably one of the more obscure ones that you're not going to really go and watch unless you really want to. 
the guy who plays the actual pirate captain himself, but he, yeah. he, he deserves yeah. a, an award for his portrayal. Mr. Fibula! Mr. Fibula! By, by the left frontal lobe, lobe of, of the, the sky, sky demon! demon. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's great. <laughs> yeah. You know, and let's face it, who doesn't want to see K9 battle it out against a robotic parrot? Killer parrot. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Top ten. That is top ten there. Top ten. Here we go. Boom! Red Sonja. Red Sonja. Classic Schwarzenegger. Now, we watch this. I like the way it's Red Sonja. Played by Bridget Nielsen. Yeah, but it's but, a Schwarzenegger <laughs> it's a collection box set. I like this movie. It's very much along the lines of Conan the Destroyer, where they kind of toned down the meaningfulness and yeah, it just becomes they, a fantasy they film. They to toned it down and made them, after Conan the Barbarian, yeah. they turned them into fantasy movies augmented more towards children. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We're always doing yeah, that. We're always doing that. It's, it's, it's more kiddie fire. I like it. I like it. I would really like to get the 4K of this. Uh, I have seen it, and the prices are coming down, so that does yeah. it does tempt me. It does yeah. tempt me. I, I find it funny though that Red Sonja, bless her, she wouldn't actually get through the movie if it wasn't for Schwarzenegger's character helping her out. Prince Carlidor. Yeah. He, well, he's, basically, he's Conan. For all intents and purposes, it's Conan Three. <laughs> Good fun. Right, this is an interesting one. Oh, what is it? What is it? All right, there's a story behind this. Which one should I go first? Uh, that right one. Or left? That one. This one? That one. Okay. Yay. So, that is the Arrow Video DVD of Red Scorpion. With Dolph Lundgren. With Dolph Lundgren, which is an action movie that is kind of equatable to Rambo 3, but you can possibly kind of kind of empathise with it a bit more. Yeah. And, uh, he doesn't really say much in it. No, no. He... He doesn't have the one-liners of Rambo or Arnold Schwarzenegger in respective films, but it was enjoyable. It was enjoyable. I'm, I'm guessing this is... I'm looking at this. Is it a reversible cover? It's a reversible ah, cover. That explains it. So, here Bingo. you go. We also have Red <laughs> Scorpion. Red Scorpion. Or Arrow Video, but with the reversible, reversible cover. cover showing. Now, the story behind this is I bought this off eBay. Brand new, sealed. This one? Yes. And about 10 minutes in, it cut an entire chunk out of the movie. And oh, this was obviously... Which is really unusual for physical media. Which is media. a really, really unusual thing about physical yeah, media. We cleaned the disc. Mm -hmm. Didn't really make any difference. So I contacted the seller and they sent a replacement. Which is sealed here right now. Which means that it will play seamlessly. Yes. Now that and is that, the thing. That, that is service. With physical media. Streaming otherwise... You're yeah. you're stuck in the are, deep end. Gonna, if, if it doesn't work for you, you're stuck in the deep end. Yeah, are you gonna you can't contact do your streaming service and say, I'm trying to watch this movie. I'm trying it, to watch it keeps this. Buffering, it keeps buffering. Or it glitches, and yeah. they're gonna say, Well, that's your problem. It's, yeah. it's your Wi Fi, it's your devices. Physical whatever. media, yeah. sellers, physical sellers, eBay, second hand. They wanna help you. You get out. service, you get service and from quality, fellow collectors. Quality. Mm. So Red Scorpion, yeah. Red Scorpion. If you're a fan of Rambo three, give it a look. Yeah. It, it was fun. Right, this one is an oldie yep. and goodie. What is it? And I haven't seen it for a long time. Yeah. And I've recommended it to you for mm -hmm. a long time. Yeah. And it's falling down. I always remember seeing clips of this on like YouTube. Yeah, I, I've clips. shown you clips. You have. You have. I've, and it's hilarious. But there was a lot more to it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, it yeah, is. sometimes you get to see the clips and like, you, you see the clips and it's like the best bits. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, the scene in the restaurant. You can see this for its face value, but if you look a lot deeper into kind yeah, of the this, meaning of this film, it is so this, relevant. This today. hasn't aged. No. You know, the no. whole point of this guy it's so who is relevant. having to deal with the, the stresses the, of life. Stresses of life. His misfortune. His um, you know, he loses his job relationship and troubles. relationship troubles and, and then it's just like that one day and he has where... done everything right and yet he's still punished for yeah, it yeah and he's trying to do everything right yeah he just wants to go home let's yeah. put it that way he's trying his best he's a troubled guy hmm. I can't, can't escape that but it is an epic journey across a city do you remember which city it was in? is it LA? maybe it probably I think like it was LA. but anyway it's just got, Los some, Angeles, it's got some fantastic bits in it. Yeah. But considering what this... I can't remember. What year is it? Ooh, no reading glasses. I'm not reading glasses. Uh, 92. 92. Yeah, I was going to say 80, so I was very close to 90. So considering the age of the movie, you can just literally apply this, apart from yeah. maybe some of the fashion statements. <laughs> it is yeah. Yeah. totally relevant to today. Mm. And... Uh, Although he is very, very thought provoking, actually, yeah, this movie. And, and it's kind of like although he's the bad guy ish, well, that's you, the thing, but you, 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 you can't you help empathize with the bad guy, you empathize with him, um, you know, because and that's the big thing. It's like, how am I the bad guy here? Yeah, <laughs> it, it really is a shame because 
right up to the last, he's trying to do his best. Yeah. I th he is a troubled character, mm. but mm. he just wants to try to do his best. So very thought-provoking, yeah, so I would definitely recommend it. Down. If you've not seen it, it remember, if you, if you go to a burger place, you, <laughs> after you've seen this, you'll know what he's talking McDonald's. about. McDonald's. <laughs> McDonald's. Right, last two, two more. Two, two more. more. Okay, okay, here we go. Bingo! So this is No Time to Die, the 4K version of the film. James Bond. So this is the last James Bond we've had. What did you think? <laughs> oh. <sighs> I My big problem with the Daniel Craig era of the James Bond franchise is the fact that they seem to be determined to give him the singular romantic relationship. Yeah. And they've taken away all of the old classic Bond stuff because, because it's, it offends it's people. It's controversial. You know, you can't have love affairs and mm. on just you know things like that. To equate it simply, as a James Bond movie, it doesn't rate highly. But as an action movie, if it was completely unrelated to James Bond, it would actually be pretty good. Yeah, I mean the the working title was Sh Shatterhands. Wasn't yeah, it? Which, I mean come on. The the, the the big thing was the fact that it was going to be about. Doctor, Doctor no. no, essentially a modern take on well, Doctor No, and it was kind of that was the problem. The big bad guy uh, who was played by um, can't think of his name, but he was the one who played yeah. Freddie uh, Mercury. Mercury. Yeah. Um, he just that didn't come over. Something Malik. Yes. Yeah, something Malik. Malik. He just didn't come over as being a really threatening, threatening bad guy. And his right hand man was mm. even less of a threatening right hand man. And again, and so he was, but yet he he. Literally takes down the whole of Spectre. Spectre. That is the thing. They spend the la the first yeah. what, four, five movies, however many there are, Spectre, setting Spectre, 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 setting Spectre. up Spectre as being this basically anti MI seven yeah thing. anti establishment and then worldwide in act, you know, the Legion of Doom act one of this film they kill them off yeah exactly they kill off the entire organization but it gets worse because they kill off James Bond. <laughs> I mean, if you, you're, you're going to know this by yeah, now, you're going to know this by now. But if you if you see this, he literally gets blown. You mean, yeah, this, this island he's on mm. is just blown to pieces yeah. by bombardment. And, and you see it. You and, do see it. And you kind of think well, it's a real shame that he hasn't got some of Q's rocket boots to yeah. blast out. Yeah, jetpack. Come you on. <laughs> uh, they even. I mean, there's a there's a kid in it, which is supposedly his child. Yeah. Uh, and he picks up his cuddly toy. Do do. And he's carrying this toy around with yeah, him. Yeah, the rabbit. And there was an opportunity yeah. at the end of the movie... To have an ambiguous ending. Yeah, you know, if they had just had a situation where you think James Bond has been blown up to pieces yeah. and then had that toy delivered in a box to the little girl. Yeah. So they open the box and there's the toy and you think... He That's must, it. He must, leave, leave it there. He must still be alive. Roll so, credits. Somehow. Roll credits. But they didn't. No. Boom. It was uh, very decisive, that ending. Apart from when you get the end of the credits... And then it says, James Bond will return. But he's been destroyed! Make up your minds, people! <laughs> I don't know. I mean, yeah, if you're going to watch Daniel Craig's um, Skyfall. Skyfall is Skyfall the one. Is the one. Is the one. Right, and that leaves us with our last one. We all have a shark movie! Okay, so The Black Demon. Now this I got for you. Yep. And I got it under Sorry. the premise that it would be... Semi relatable to Jason Statham's The Meg. Well, it was a Meg. It was a Meg, but it was kind of a more kind of spiritual yeah. demon. It was kind of, thing. Well, I, I took it that it was a physical shark. Yeah. Yeah, but that the, appeared the, the because local of, natives feel that it, it only appears when it's been summoned. Yeah, of because of yeah. malicious acts. Uh, basically pollution in this case yeah unfortunately the big drawback on this film was the fact that it needed more shark yeah like <laughs> most of it is oh no we're troubled by a shark but you don't actually see it that much yeah um yeah there you go. A bit nonish in the nonish. end. I mean, it was all right. It was enjoyable for it was, what it was, but it, it could have been more. This is kind of the kind of movie I'd expect to see on one of the preview channels. Yeah, you know, yeah. Where they you know, they show those. You find it on Legend. You know, as well that's the, a TV channel in the UK. Yeah, the six-headed shark movies, things like that. Six, have they done up to six? I've no idea. I know they've done but, five. You know, when you get what is it, Sharktopus and stuff like that. You know, it's kind of in that zone. <laughs> Sharktopus versus whale. You know. Um, but there you go. So, last one, Black Demon. So that rounds up our January physical media watch list. Yep. I thought as the 
It was a pretty good match. I've I enjoyed. Think, I, I think. I've, I've pretty much. I've, I've enjoyed all of them. Uh, even in even, their way. In, in their even way. watching Daniel Craig's one again. Um, you know, the, because Paloma. There's a character called Paloma in there. Yeah. And, and the movie up to that point is yeah. James Bond. Yeah. And then she comes in, and then after the basically the best bit of the movie, she's then sidetracked. Yeah. She, bye bye. And it's Which nice. I think was a big shame. A big shame. It's nice to catch up with some movies as well when you because uh, we work in the movie industry and mm. we know people that have worked on uh, a lot of the movies we watch. We know people that have worked on them. Mm. And in that one, a friend of mine called Stephanie, she yeah. she was in the uh, James Bonds car, car at the beginning of the uh, movie with all, in that action sequence mm. in it, it Italy. I think it's Italy yeah. uh, where they charge around and everything, and she they they face face mapped her on there so you're kind of watching the movie from our perspective going oh yeah there's, there's Stephanie in yeah. that one and even with a flash because yeah. uh, Tina your mother well, she, yeah. she worked on the flash so yeah we like watching those movies that we have a little bit of connection to as well yeah yeah of course and by the way you'll be happy to know that that Paloma Faith character well, not the character but yeah. the actress isn't Paloma Faith a singer I think it was just Paloma wasn't it anyway <laughs> <laughs> all right well the actress who played that character in that movie is going to be in a John Wick spin-off called The Ballerina. Ah, talk about Paloma Faith. I thought she, I'm sure she worked on, um, oh, Pennyworth. I don't know. I'm sure she, because I met her on Pennyworth, because I worked on it. So there you go, there was a connection. There we go. There you well, go. We, we Tenuous ran it down connections. Tenuous connections. <laughs> the, the video. There we go. Anyway, that there was our January. That was our January physical, physical media video. watch list. If you would like to see another one next month, please let us know in the comments. Okay, see you on the next one. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to this channel and comment below any suggestions of further reviews you'd like to see from the Sacrifice Review.